Um, so I've had a lot of questions about the e-learning quiz that I've sent out. If you guys are seeing what I'm doing on the screen, which hopefully you are, I'm just in Year 7 Humanities, but I've also sent the quiz to my Year 9 class. So if you go into Learning Tasks, you will get confronted with this, the e-learning quiz. I sent an email about how to do this, but it was a bit confusing, and I understand that people who weren't here probably had trouble accessing it. So I'm just making this video to one, test how it goes, and two, explain how to do this stuff for you guys in the future. So I sent out a quiz, which was really just a list of questions that I was getting from students, and I didn't want to have to send 700 emails. So I sent out a quiz um, that had the answer is already completed. All you have to do for the learning task is really read through those questions so that you can understand how to use Compass properly, how to contact your teachers, access resources, in the event that we need to do some e-learning in the future. So this is the learning task. So students will complete a brief quiz on how to complete e-learning activities. This learning task is designed to act as a checklist for students on the different digital support resources available and instructions on how to access these tools. So if you click on learning tasks, you'll see this attachment here. You just need to download it. You can see I've already done that. I'm gonna open it and you'll get confronted with this. So you can see I've given a brief introduction uh, spiel at the start there. So the quiz is designed to act as a checklist. Please read through the following questions and answers and submit the file on Compass Learning Tasks by Friday. If you have questions, let me know. So all you really need to do is read through this and then submit the file to Learning Tasks. There's no quizzes or questions to answer. It's not, I'm not trying to trick you. It's really just you guys reading through it so that you know where to go for information in the future. So you can read through these questions. So how would you contact your teacher if you had questions about lesson activities, where to access resources, etc. You just need to email me. It's really straightforward stuff, but some of you guys just probably need a bit of a reminder. I won't call out any names, anyway. Um, uh, if you have questions, it's best to ask these as soon as possible to fix the issue. As soon as possible. Where would you access lesson resources? Compass resources. You know, same business as usual. Compass resources has all their resources in it. I've tried to be nice and tidy about it, putting things in, you know, chronological order, numbering things. You know, this is the first resource we use. This is from lesson two, three, four, and five, and it should be in a topic folder. So, for example, term one, history. The lesson plans themselves should be put up into lesson plan or in Compass uh, in class news feed, which is what I've done in the past, but in the future, I'll probably put them into lesson plan just to, um, just because there's a bit more room, so it can be a bit more detailed. Uh, question three, if you don't have the textbook, how can you access your textbook using your laptop or iPad? So from year seven to nine, we use Jacaranda. So Jacaranda Plus is a website or an application you can use um, on Apple or uh, PC. In Jack Plus, you can access the Learn On, which is like an interactive version of the textbook where you, you've seen me use it on the whiteboard, hopefully, where I'll click on a term that's underlined and it will give you a definition. Or you can use a PDF version. Um, and if you guys look at Compass Resources, you'll see I've put the relevant chapter up in Compass Resources. I've put the whole textbook up because that'd be a bloody big file. But I've put up Chapter Eight for our you know, World War One studies. Question four: How do I access class assessments? Hopefully, you guys know how to do this as well. But you just need to go to Learning Tasks. Is there an option to submit assessments digitally? Absolutely. So we can enable online submission for all of our assessments. You know, learning Tasks, CATs, Devs. Um, and you'll find that in the learning task, we'll often attach uh, assessment instructions or the rubric or support resources. And if they're not there, they will be in Compass resources. Uh, where will the school provide updates on school activities and policies? The school policies and changes to school activities will be updated on Compass via email and SMS. So that's that. I've read through it, which means I've finished my learning task to prove to Mr. Tapley that I have finished my learning task. All I need to do now is go to the learning tasks but with a very slow but wavy internet I'm at school if you can't tell I'm wearing my casual clothes a stylish young people baseball hat anyway i've gone so um you can see that matthew's already submitted the learning task he's done exactly what i've asked he's read through that file he's downloaded it and all you need to do is submit a file so mine will look a bit different than yours but you will have a submit file button so i've got one here so submit file, browse, my download, GWSC e-learning quiz, pop that in there, and that's all I've done. So then I can go next to you, I can just go 
received it to date as. So it's not a quiz, I probably should have named it something less confusing. You literally just need to read it and then submit the file of the learning tasks. One, so you know a little bit about how to use Compass properly. And two, just to make sure that you guys are still awake. Because <laughs> I've been sending out lots of emails and I haven't been getting many responses. So I'm hoping that you guys in the future will, um, if you have questions, ask me by email. And yeah, that's all I've got to say, really. So thanks for that, guys. Any more questions, please feel free to email me through the holidays. Um, you know, we've got this due on Friday, but after that, you've got two weeks of holidays, no holiday homework. And yeah, thanks, everyone.